It appears as if Earth's salvation is in my hands. I'm on my own against Darkseid, and I know just where to start to find him. Shouldn't you just said I know just where to find him or something like that? Why do you have to add I just know where to start to find? So, I don't know. Anyway, welcome back everyone to more Justice League Task Force. I am your host, of course, Mr. Espinoza X. And in the last episode, Green Arrow was pretty much, you know, calling the other Justice League members to help him fight Darkseid. But it appears that all the Justice League members were robots. Yeah, so I guess Darkseid pretty much replaced the actual Justice League members with robots to attack Green Arrow and stuff. So now we are in space against this character named Despero. Um, Despero, I, I don't know. And I do not know him. <laughs> Honestly, this is actually the first time I'm seeing this character. So, you know, for those who are looking for a knowledge about this character or something like that, I'm sorry, I, I'm no... I'm, no help to you guys on that one so if you want go ahead and google it <laughs> oh, but anyway yeah so one thing i'm noticing is that yeah this is pretty much just an arcade style uh game mode you know with dialogue that i'm pretty sure every single other character has the same dialogue in there and stuff um so i mean Again, it's a Super Nintendo, you know, I'm over here thinking like, oh, I'm over here expecting like a full cinematic, you know, uh, story mode, just like, you know, the NetherRealm games and stuff, but no, it's, again, it's a Super Nintendo, so I, I'm guessing that's, that, I'm guessing, you know, <laughs> I don't know, like, I would, I was expecting like an actual story rather than just like a thing where every character has the same dialogue and stuff, so yeah, but, um, not gonna give my full thoughts about the game just yet just till the end of course you know like i always like to keep you guys waiting and stuff so yeah um yeah this bro has some like ooh, that really huge fireball he lets out and stuff so i gotta really be careful with that and stuff this is i'm yeah i definitely could see the difficulty spike up as soon as we reach this so i'm pretty sure since we defeated pretty much all the members of justice league now we are pretty much getting close to dark side and stuff so yeah, one thing I'm missing, one thing is missing too. I'm surprised you didn't find a fight a robot of of Green Arrow or something like. I'm like I'm over here expecting like a a mirror fight or something like that, you know. But anyway, who I barely defeated Despero. You're nothing but Dark Side's pawn, Despero. I want the truth. Where is Dark Side? And what has he done with the Justice League? I was left here to tend his spaceship while he prepared for an attack on Earth. Darkseid confines in only one other of his servants. Alright, I guess we gotta fight one more servant. And who is that servant? Cheetah? What? Cheetah's working with Darkseid? Hmm, that's uh, I was expecting, I don't know, some other character, but Cheetah? Oh, well, I guess so. And uh, they're fighting in front of freaking Lion, the Cheetah, freaking Lionesses and stuff. Oh my god, how I'm surprised these lions are not going after Green Arrow or something like that. <laughs> oh man, but Cheetah is the arch enemy, arch nemesis of Wonder Woman and stuff. Uh, she was a scientist and then, you know, scientist or archaeologist or something like that. She just happened to come across, I guess, uh, again, I, um, I know who, I know who Cheetah is, you know, she came across this artifact that, you know, pretty much, uh, turned her into this, uh, Cheetah animal and everything like that. You know, she's swift, she's fast and everything like that. Um, uh she has magic in her um which you know she could you know pretty much like again superman uh one of his, his magic so you know cheetah can actually you know uh you know handle her own against superman and stuff which is pretty surprising and stuff so yeah 
Uh, Cheeto also will be the uh, one of the main villains in the new Wonder Woman uh, movie, uh, Wonder Woman uh, 84 and stuff. Which supposedly was supposed to release on June 5th, but they got delayed because of the pandemic and stuff. And, oh my god, Cheetah is freaking fast. I think she's way faster than the Flash. <laughs> Maybe she's the fastest person alive, or, you know, in this case, animal or something. You get what I mean. <laughs> yeah, she's supposed to be a cheetah, you know. Cheetahs are fat. Cheetahs are fast and stuff, so yeah. Um, yeah, freaking... Why? <laughs> This stage is very, very interesting. <laughs> I mean, I, uh, again, yeah, you know, she's a cheetah, you know. It, it kind of makes sense, but man, I'm just surprised none of these guys, these lions or cheetahs or lionesses are not eating Green Arrow alive or something like that. <laughs> oh, man. We haven't seen Green Arrow stage. Um, oh, dude. Oh, okay, okay. I'm sorry, I'm just really concentrating around because I'm almost like, I'm, 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 oh my gosh, I could, uh, hopefully I could do this. I'm just like literally just, you know, just backing away, spamming the freaking uh, bomb arrows and stuff. Oh my gosh, fudge, dude. Yeah, sorry for, sorry about that. I was just really concentrating around. Freaking cheetah, dude, freaking, she's giving me a hard time right now. Oh my god. All right, let's go ahead and do this again. Um, sorry, again. I'm just like really concentrating right now. I really do like that like sweep uh, kick uh, thing that Green Arrow does, and it's a simple thing too. It doesn't require any special um, <clears throat> special input in order to do the move. You just press down and press on the uh, kick buttons and stuff, and it'll do that. I thought it was really effective too. Uh, that's what that's one thing I like about Green Arrow in this game is like he has that sweep kick and it's really awesome and stuff. Yeah, you see, like man, you, look at that. You see that combo right there? That's actually that that was pretty nice. Oh my gosh, dude, freaking! She just like does her little flying move out of nowhere. Like as soon as I jump, like she she, she does it. Yeah, you see, like I was about to jump. Like yeah, you see that? Yeah. Oh my god, dude. Time over. Oh, gosh. Yeah, you see? Like, as soon as I jump and everything, she does that anti-aerial freaking uh, attack and stuff. Oh my gosh, dude. Alright, let's do this again. She over here just like, no, 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 not today. <laughs> freaking, what are you, Dikembe Mutombo? <laughs> Alright, let's do this again. Come on. Ooh, okay, okay. I just, like, I just really gotta watch out. Like, I just gotta... Like, it comes to, like, this, you know? Like, when you're when you're facing off against a tough opponent, you just gotta play defense and everything. Just kind of back away, you know, look for an opening, you know, if your character, you know, so happens to have a projectile move or something like that. In this case, we're playing Green Arrow, who's one of the greatest arch one of the greatest archers in comic book history. Um, you just gotta, like... Pretty much, you spam those freaking projectiles and stuff. My God, Cheetah, Jesus! Oh my goodness, dude. Whew. Okay, come on. You gotta, we gotta do this. We we gotta do this. We gotta do this. Come on. Sorry, sorry if my commentary is getting dull right now. I'm just like really concentrating right now. Cause man, Cheetah is freaking oh. All right, all right, all right, okay. I just, I really have to stop jumping. That's what I, that's why I tend to do a lot in fighting games is I jump a lot and stuff. And especially with characters that have that anti-aerial move. Yeah, I always have my troubles with that, you know. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm so used to jumping a lot in fighting games and everything just so I could quickly move to the other side or move forward and everything like that. But, you know, it's just so happy, like, you know, kind of get like a, an air jump kick on the on my opponent and stuff you know that's what I tend to do um, but yeah there's just some characters that I freaking I have trouble with who have those anti-aerial freaking move uh, special moves and stuff oh dude who okay all right we could do this we, we could definitely do this mm -mm. you ain't gonna defeat me cheetah all right let's do this again <clears throat> excuse me all right come on yeah, just keep 
yeah, yeah, just kind of back away. Just, just not let, do not let her corner you. Oh. Come on. Ooh, -hoo. okay, okay. Ooh, -hoo. okay, that was perfect right there. Man, I swear that bomb arrow is just so amazing, dude. Oh, come on. Right, I just gotta. Ooh, damn, I freaking missed. Right, I just gotta get her in a good spot in order to do that damn thing. Come on, there we go. There oh, she moved away. Oh, yeah, you see, I just gotta get her in a good spot. I got her. I Come on. I got this. I got this. I got this. I got this. Ah! Ah, oh, get out of here! Yeah! Get out of here! <laughs> that was awesome. I just tossed her to the other side. <laughs> You're not who I want, Cheetah. Darkseid is the real threat. Tell me where he is. I have nothing to fear from even you. Go to Darkseid. Engage him in battle. But you will not survive. I did not think you would be able to defeat my lackeys or the robots with which I replace your fellow Justice League members. But I have one more adversary waiting for you. One more powerful than you could ever imagine. Who, Granny Goodness? <laughs> Is that who I'm facing next? Oh no, I'm facing against myself! <laughs> okay, alright. <laughs> Okay, like, and I, I was talking about it too, like, hey, you know, I thought I was going to face, like, a mirror match of myself and stuff. Hey, we got it. <laughs> hey, I get, this is, it's true what they say, you know, it's like your greatest opponent is yourself. So in this case, I'm fighting myself with a greater shade of green. It, a better gr shade of green than what I have. <laughs> oh, man, look at that green, dude. It's way better than the one I have. His is just really bright red. I think the one the robot green arrow has has is more truer to like the longbow hunter uh costume from the from the longbow hunter costume and especially of course the arrow tv show and stuff oh man freaking i gotta catch up freaking ah oh, freaking he would he would throw a fire out arrow at me dude oh my god oh man this stage is crazy this the music in this stage is actually pretty nice, honestly. I'm going to say this right now. I think this game definitely has some really great music and stuff. Uh, it, again, I'm not going to give my final thoughts about the game. But the music is nice. I really do like the music in this game. So far, I'm liking, you know, the that victory theme that plays whenever, you know, you win against your opponent or the opponent wins against you and stuff. Uh, the victory theme. Um, I do like the uh, the menu theme and Batman's theme and stuff from his stage, um, and of course this one. This act this stage in uh, Apocalypse is actually really nice. So yeah, ooh, let's freaking go, dude! All right, yeah. Like when it comes to like you know mirror matches um, with CPUs or you know playing the um, online matches. Usually, I tend to win a lot against mirror matches and stuff. Um, and it's just like I, I have something to prove. Like, hey, this this person, this person or CPU is the same character as I am. So I gotta prove, you know, that you know I'm the better, you know, to use this character and stuff. So yeah. Woo, he's dizzy. Ah, oh, dude, I should have went with some. I, I should have not taken that long to freaking beat him. I mean, to freaking pull out that arrow. Oh my gosh. But actually, you know what? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. that was actually really cool. <laughs> oh, man. It was like a battle of archers. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> that was actually pretty cool. You know what? I actually like the, that physic right there. When he freezes you while you're on the air. Like, you know, like usually Mortal Kombat, you like just freeze there and stay there. But this one, you freeze and then you automatically drop and you take damage and stuff. You impress me, hero. But my plan shall not be thwarted. Thwarted, thwarted, yeah, thwarted. Once I have conquered Earth, the planet and its people shall serve as the base for the conquest of the universe. I will destroy you with my own hands and my Omega Beams. Oh boy, Green Arrow versus Dark Side. Oh man, this isn't gonna end well, and especially since he's the final boss. Ooh, whoo, boy. <laughs> 
Well, we'll see right now. But anyway, oh man. But yeah, I actually like that physic right there. You know, because with Mortal Kombat, you know, you know, when you're frozen with any character that has like a freeze thing or something like Sub Zero and stuff, you stay in the air um, and stuff. But in this case, you know, you're in the air, you get frozen, you automatically drop. I actually like that kind. I actually like that physic right there and stuff. So, you know, when you're... Because <laughs> there's times when I do play Sub-Zero in Mortal Kombat and they freeze and they're in the air. I'm like, okay, how am I going to freaking reach up there? And I just got decimated by freaking Darkseid, dude. Oh, my God. Yeah, he, had, oh, freak, he spams those Omega Beams. Which is crazy because his Omega Beams don't go straight. They, like, kind of have, like, that curve uh, uh, thing. Like, that curve. They curve pretty much and stuff in, like, such a weird way. And everything but in this case I guess he shoots them and they shoot straight I guess I don't know I I never seen dark side ever like kind of like do like kind of shoot that you know like where it goes straight because I vote if I known dark side his Omega beans like do that curve thing and stuff so yeah um, but of course dark side you know most notably the um, the uh, the arch enemy of well the arch enemy of Superman and stuff but you know there's been moments where, you know, he's probably been the main focus of any uh, Justice League comic book and stuff. So, yeah. And, of course, oh, man. That really gruesome Justice League uh, Dark, um, I think, what was it called? No, Justice League Dark Apocalypse or something? I think that's what it was. I think, yeah, Justice League Dark Apocalypse or something like that, that... Uh, that um you know cartoon movie that uh dc and warner brothers recently made that recently came out man dude Whew. if you haven't seen that movie go look it up i'm not gonna say anything or anything like that but man there's some scenes in that movie man dude it is just crazy but yeah Ooh, i just grabbed him like nah huh? <laughs> oh my god <gasps> Oh my god. <laughs> oh dude, he just keeps spamming. Oh, let's go. Let's freaking go. Green Arrow beat Dark Side. Something you would never see in a comic book. <laughs> maybe he does maybe he I like honestly if there is a comic book where you know Green Arrow fights against Dark Side, please let me know. <laughs> Cause I gotta see that that'll happen in the comic book or something. <laughs> but yeah. Alright. Come on. I I need to defeat him here. Ooh, okay. Oh, oh no, Jesus! Oh, dude, he was gonna do some type of combo stuff as soon as he threw me, and then freaking, <laughs> I like literally threw me on this on the other side, and then like I bounced off right to him, <laughs> thinking over here is gonna do some sick combo at me. Ooh, dude, that was actually pretty cool. Oh, freaking froze him. Oh, all right, come on. I'm sorry, I'm just really concentrating right now because, oh my god. <clears throat> oh, oh, come on, I gotta let out a f ice arrow right here. I gotta let out a nice arrow. Oh, oh no, dude, damn. Freaking shot me in the Omega Beam and it's on his head, dude. Oh my god. All right, here we go. One more time. Come on, we gotta do this. We can do this for sure. We got this, guys. We got this. <clears throat> Alright, come on. Yeah, you just gotta play defense in this case. Oh, damn. He's doing that thing again. Literally, he just throws me in the other side and I bounce off the damn uh, screen. Oh, man. I, I gotta let out some fight, uh, some ice arrows here. Ooh, that was nice. That was nice. Alright. I gotta freeze him somehow. I just... Ugh. Oh, dude. I almost had it. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Ah, oh, no! Ah! Ah! Let go of me! Come on! I got. I got. This. Ooh, dude! Oh my god! <gasps> Let's go! Woo! Ooh, man, dude! That ice arrow came in clutch, dude. Wow, it's over, Dark Side. Earth is safe, and you'll pay for what you did to that missile base. Seriously, like, why? Okay, you come to Earth just to attack a missile base? Like, what? Really? I, yeah, that's... A... Whether together or alone, nothing can defeat the Justice League Task Force. Oh, my God. 
Man, that freaking arrow. That ice arrow came in clutch, dude. That was amazing. But anyway, that is it for Justice League Task Force Story. Um, I'm going to say this right now. Um, Justice League Task Force is one of those fighting games. that Those licensed fighting games um, and stuff. Um, that it's just, you know, where just the controls feel stiff and everything like that. Not as stiff as uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Tournament Fighters um, is, or just like Clay Fighters or something like that. But there are some things you could get off and everything like that. But I mean, if you want to play like your favorite hero, um, like I try to play Batman during the battle mode, but I don't know, for some reason, like, I don't know. I could, I, for the life of me, couldn't play him and stuff. And, like, when I chose Green Arrow, I was all like, you know what? Green Arrow is actually pretty easy to know, like, all his moves and everything like that. So, yeah. Um, on, it, uh, honestly, you know, it was, it was an alright fighting game and stuff. Though, you know, it did get, tend to get, it did get hard towards the, towards the end and everything like that. Um, so, freaking, man, that Ice Arrow just came in clutch against Darkseid. Um, but anyway, technical standpoint, I'd probably give this game... I'll, I'll give this game a 7. Um, honestly, it was a fun fighting game for what it was, but honestly, it's just, I don't know, maybe it's not for everybody and everything. I'm guessing that screen arrow stage because there's like the, uh, the the space needle from Seattle. Um, but anyway, um, yeah. Um, yeah, I'll give it a 7. I mean, you know, it was, a, it was an alright fighting game, you know. Probably just one of those that's just one, like, played and I'm just done with it and everything like that. Um, I expected the story mode, you know, to kind of have, where every character has his own dialogue or something, but apparently, but I, before this, I looked it up and, you know, pretty much everyone just has the same dialogue and everything, so, yeah. But, yeah, I, I, like, I want, like, I just wanted to, I don't know. I was expecting something different, but oh well. But, enjoyment value, I'll probably give it a... I had some. I had fun with it. I, I definitely did. I'll give it a nine as an enjoyment value. If you want to play this with your friends, you know, definitely go for it and everything. So yeah. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this playthrough of Justice League Task Force. Hopefully, everyone enjoyed the next fighting game playthrough that I will be doing next. Is a game that um I already mentioned. <laughs> the next one will be. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Tournament Fighters. So stay tuned for that, everybody. This has been Mr. Espinoza X saying good night, good morning, good day. Whatever time you guys are watching this video. Hopefully everyone enjoyed. And I will see you guys on the next one. Alright, everyone. Bye.